Guilty Gear Japanese, Gurutijia Hepburn, Gurutijia, subtitled The Missing Link in Japan, is a 2D fighting video game developed by Team Neo Blood, an Arc System Works production group led by Daisuke Ishiwatari, and published by Arc System Works. First released on May 14, 1998, for the PlayStation, it is the first installment in the series of the same name. Set in a world destroyed by a war between humans and bio-organic weapons called Gears, it follows ten fighters as they enter a tournament held to prevent resurrection of the Gears leader. Its gameplay consists in one-on-one -on -one fights, with a main four-button configuration, featuring special moves and instant kill techniques, as well as three different playable modes. Devised by Ishiwatari, it took a year and a half in production, with Street Fighter and manga influences. After its original release, it was brought to North America, Europe and PAL region, and reached a cult status among gamers. It has received favorable critical reception, with praise towards its character's roster, 2D graphics and fast gameplay that differentiates it from other games of the same genre. It has been labeled as one of few games of its era to cause any sort of impact on the genre, except from Capcom and SNK hegemonic games. However, it received criticism due to its difficult and unbalanced set of characters. Gameplay After selecting one of the ten characters available from outset, the player must to defeat the enemy in battle by winning two out of three rounds. It uses a six-button layout, four of which are responsible for the attacks, one punch, one kick, and the other two for weapon attacks, and the other two for special actions. Guilty Gear also features instant kill techniques that, if successfully lands on an opponent, ends the match. It uses a tension gauge, which fills up when the character gets hit or takes damage. When it is full, characters become stronger, and can input certain commands to activate special moves called chaos attacks. The game has a feature called Chaos Mode that is activated when a character's health is at the halfway point yellow bar. A red aura will surround the character and he, she is able to perform unlimited chaos attacks. It features three modes. Arcade Mode. Single Mode, culminating in battles with the bosses, and the only one that reveals characters' reasoning for fighting. Versus Mode. Which gives the opportunity to play against another player, and Training Mode. Which allows to practice. The game settings allow the player to set the duration of the round, but not allow to change the number of rounds in a fight, and the difficulty in the single mode. <laughs> Synopsis Plot <laughs> 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 In 2010, mankind discovered an unlimited energy source of incredible power, which was labeled magic. Despite providing a solution for the world energy crisis, war conflicts continued to exist. The power of magic was combined with humans and other creatures via experiments, creating living weapons known as gears. Eventually, the gears turned on the human race, beginning a global war known as the Crusades. After a century of battles, a military group known as the Sacred Order of Holy Knights fought and defeated Justice, the leader of the Gears. With Justice having been locked away in a dimensional prison, all other Gears seemingly ceased to function, bringing end to an age of conflict. The story of Guilty Gear takes place in the year 2180, five years after the end of the Crusades. A Gear named Testament began a plan to resurrect Justice, and wipe out the human race. Fearing this, the Union of Nations organized a fighting tournament in order to find fighters who would be able to defeat Testament and prevent her revival, awarding the winner with anything they may desire. Ten combatants sign up to enter the Second Sacred Order Tournament. As the combatants fight through the stages of the tournament they begin to discover the true goal behind it. A bounty hunter named Saul Badguy defeats Testament in the second to last stage of the tournament. However, he's too late to prevent Justice's resurrection. After an arduous battle, Justice is defeated by Saul restoring peace for the time being. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Characters. Guilty Gear features 10 playable characters available from outset. The characters have different styles of fight, special abilities, as well as weapons, which some do not have, fighting only with their bodies. Aside from the initial ten, the player can unlock three hidden characters to use them only in the 
versus mode. The outset characters are Axel Lowe, Chip Zanuff, Dr. Baldhead, Cliff Underson, Kentucky Kiska, May, Milia Rage, Potemkin, Saul Badguy the main character and ZATO1, while Biken, Justice, and Testament are boss characters that are unlockable. Development and release Daisuke Ishiwatari has conceived the game before joining Arc System Works, during the period he was in a vocational school. Eventually, Ishiwatari entered the company, where he was working on other things until the day he revealed to the president he wanted to make a game in Street Fighter likeness. With the president's acceptance, Ishiwatari started to work on it along with a cast of about 12 people, the so-called Team Neo Blood, lasting a year and a half in its development. With influences of the manga Bastard Double Exclamation Mark, Ishiwatari created the series hoping it would appeal not only to game fans but to anime fans too. Originally, the game was designed with rendered 3D visuals, but this was later replaced by hand-drawn artwork. Ishiwatari was convinced that the game should be something difficult because he saw fighting games trying to appeal to casual players and failing on it. He explained his main focus was to create a product that would satisfy its players, and that could expand the possibilities of the game itself. A different layout of buttons. One of the things that defined the game was necessary because we wanted to come up with something different to the other games, it needed to be different. For this reason, the instant kill techniques were added, its function was also to add tension to the fight. As someone who was winning could be defeated suddenly. Something we really wanted to be a strong theme for the game. Guilty Gear was first released in Japan on May 14, 1998 for the PlayStation by Arc System Works. In August of the same year, Arc System Works licensed a North American release to Atlas. The company let players choose the game's box art by voting for their favorites from three available box arts. When the contest ended, Atlas released the game on October 31, 1998. In Europe, it was licensed and published by Studio 3 in May 2000. Reception Reviews for it were generally positive, with an aggregate score of 78.44% from game rankings. PlayStation Power reported that both Japanese and American reviewers commended the combination of humor and futuristic manga style action, and the variety of moves and combos. IGN staff said it would be well received by fans of traditional 2D fighting video games and considered it one of the bests of the genre on PlayStation. Writing for Electronic Gaming Monthly EGM, a reviewer dubbed Sushi, said it is the second best 2D fighter on PlayStation behind Street Fighter Alpha 2. Harry Slater of Pocket Gamer and Eurogamer's Wesley Yin Poole affirmed it has been regarded by many to be the greatest 2D, one-on-one -on -one fighter of the era, and the greatest fighting game of all time. Respectively, its graphics have been well received by James Milkey of GameSpot, who qualified it as fast and fluid animation. All games Michael L. House also used the latter adjective. Writing for Eurogamer, Tom Bramwell noted, the classic cartoon look suits Guilty Gear perfectly, and Randy Nelson from IGN qualified it as unrivaled animation quality. Slater stated, it's one of the coolest 2D fighters from a time when 2D fighters just weren't cool. In opposition, Ed Lomas of Computer and Video Games declared, The graphics aren't great, but a lot of effort has been put into certain characters, especially in terms of animation. An EGM reviewer deemed the graphics and animation as the big draw of Guilty Gear, while a Jixvideo.com contributor said it could be more polished. Its gameplay has been praised, with Milky, House, and Nelson describing it as fast, and furious. Quote dot. Conversely, Play criticized its speed as Guilty Gear takes it away too far. Lomas praised its combo system, and compared to Street Fighter Alpha games, while IGN staff also commended its over-the-top combos. Baba Fat of GamePro, however, complained about the difficult to perform some special moves. Milky declared it is one of the few non-Capcom or SNK 2D fighters to make any sort of impact on the genre. 
Though stated Capcom was still the best developer, Nelson said Guilty Gear is better than 90% of those 2D fighting games on the market. Similarly, Jixvideo.com writer thought it was the game that finally provide a valid alternative to Capcom's hegemony in the niche, while Lomas called the characters unoriginal, quote, comma, quote, okay, and cool looking were used by John R. and Sean from EGM to describe the characters. Nelson, on other hand, called them the best outside Capcom, SNK, and Milky found they truly awesome, noting their diversity keeps Guilty Gear fresh. Quote dot. House declared. Superb is the only way to describe them. Asserting they are all. Pretty original. Jixvideo. Com commentator wrote that they are. Varied enough not to bore. While Fat praised the character's uniqueness as each have. Distinct looks and strategies. Jixvideo.com reviewer praised its music and sound, while Milky said its combination create. A truly awesome sound experience. Conversely, House and Nelson felt it is very unoriginal and s strictly average, respectively. Most of criticism, however, is directed to how the AI makes the game difficult and how there are some attacks that cause too much damage. EGM's four critics' consensus was that the worst feature of the game was the balance of characters. Both Nelson and Bramwell felt the aforementioned problemes are the two major issues of the game. On this matter, House commented. The computer will destroy you a lot. And that a few characters can execute attacks that really take off way too much damage and this is real the problem with the game. In spite of it, Game Informer considered the instant kill move to be the biggest concept introduced by Guilty Gear. Lomas did a more negative review, saying it is initially totally unappealing, with nothing that hasn't been done loads of times before. And Game Informer has named the game one of the top ten weirdest of all time. In contrast, most of critics were positive in the statements that summarize their opinions. Milky said it is as good as it gets. And it was described by House as just a solid, well-executed 2D fighting game that has class, personality and a great engine. Nelson declared, N.O. true fan of the genre should be without a copy. And Bramwell urged. If 2D beat em ups are moving toward extinction, they really are ending on a high note with stuff like this. In retrospect, Evan Samoon wrote for the official Dreamcast magazine that Guilty Gear is one of the most beloved yet underappreciated games, commenting it defined itself for its balance, wonderful art design, and extremely tie control. Topic: <laughs> Legacy. The Guilty Gear game was the first installment of the series that is considered a cult classic among video game fans. It was followed by four direct sequels, Guilty Gear X 2000, Guilty Gear X 2 2002, Guilty Gear 2, Overture 2007, Guilty Gear XRD 2014, and several spin-offs. Arc System Works re-released Guilty Gear in a reprinted edition. Fuke Ban Fukoku Ban on September 22, 1999 for a cheaper price. It later became available by download on PlayStation Store as a PS1 classic in Japan on May 31, 2007, in Europe on January 7, 2010, and in PAL region on January 8, 2010. It was also released as a mobile game for PlayStation certified devices in 2012. By the game's 20th anniversary, Arc System Works announced the production of a port for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and PC. Other media In the same year of the game release, a strategy guide titled Official Walkthrough Fanbook Guilty Gear Complete Bible, Gong Shi Gong Lu Fanbuku Guru Ti Jia Konpari Tobiburu Koshiki Koryaku Fanbuku Guru Ti Jia Konpari Tobiburu was released by Takarajimasha on May 28 in Japan. Following the game's original release, a soundtrack album was released by Nippon Columbia on May 21, 1998. 
Guilty Gear original sound collection was composed by Ishiwatari, Takahiro Uematsu, Hatsuaki Takami, Takuya Moritu, arranged by Yasaharu Takanashi, and consisting mostly of rock and heavy metal music. The album was well received by critics. Don Katowski of Square Enix Music called the tracks very enjoyable, but he felt it is less refined than subsequent soundtracks. Another reviewer from the same site, GoldfishX, said the only drawback the disc has is the mastering of the CD which can difficult to hear the guitars on rhythm in some tracks. As it is not a problem related to composition, he gave a perfect score to the soundtrack. Several themes featured in the game, such as, Keep Yourself Alive, and Holy Orders, Be Just or Be Dead were used in subsequent games, and its soundtrack as a whole became one of the aspects the series is most known for. <laughs> 